Maintaining and renewing license licensing for election equipment is vital. If it's not maintained and something goes wrong, it disturbs the process of casting your ballot. Rachel Ripp has the details. This week, Lexington County Council met to approve about $184,000 to spend on voting machine maintenance fees and licensing renewals. It's a yearly to-do list item, but it's also critical to election integrity. Maintenance on the equipment. So if something breaks, a screen breaks, and you need a screen replaced, um, uh, preventative maintenance on scanners, things like making sure the rollers are clean and, and Everything's functioning properly, basically. Lexington County Election Administrator Lanice Shoemaker tells me her office has been lucky the past 12 years she's worked there. I didn't have any trouble with any machines that I get. Uh, I had a battery that was going low once, which these don't use that anymore. And our, the rover came, swapped out the batteries, and it was fine. I just used a different machine until he could check it. But it's better to be safe than sorry. Lenise tells me her staff is starting the process of checking all the equipment, from cleaning it to making sure all the buttons work to scanning test ballots. We wipe right down inside of there. After all, this equipment just sits in a storage room like this one in Lexington, unused for long periods of time if there's no special or municipal elections. And when it is used, it's on the move. Equipment goes out to polling places, travels out, and you're putting it in trucks and you're taking it out to a hundred different places out in the county and it's being unloaded off of trucks and then it's being put back on trucks and uh, it's being moved around a lot so things can happen. Lanise tells me her staff checks every piece of equipment five or more times before election day and if there are any flaws she'll make a sticky note and tell the election commission. Reporting in Lexington, Rachel Rip, News 19 WLTX. According to the Lexington County Election Administrator, they'll also be adopting a new system this year with the logistics team picking up and dropping off voting equipment. They say it will make the voting machine distribution to polling sites easier. Their staff and state election commission employees will be present to oversee the process as well. And of course, the general election is coming up on Tuesday, November 8th. The biggest race on the ballot is that for governor. The major candidates, incumbent Republican Governor Henry McMaster, Democrat challenger Joe Cunningham, state house and senate positions also up for grabs, and the state's education superintendent will also be on the ballot. If you haven't already done so, you still have time to register to vote. That deadline is October 9th. You can register online by mail, email, fax, or in person. For mail or email, you must download a voter registration form and send the completed version to your county board of registration. To register in person, you need to visit your county board of voter registration office. The early voting period begins Monday, October 24th and will close on Saturday, November 5th. You can visit an early voting center Monday through Saturday anytime between 830 in the morning and 6 in the evening. Well, good Thursday evening, Midlands. I'm Chief Meteorologist Efren Afonte. Temperatures again today were not that bad. We did start off at 61 degrees as a low temperature at Columbia Metropolitan Airport and ended up with a high of 84 degrees. We do have mostly sunny skies, maybe a few clouds at worst. It's 83 degrees, winds are out of the northeast at about 12 miles an hour. Now our forecast for tonight, it's going to be another cool night under clear skies. We're looking at a low of 59 degrees. A quick warm up though, by lunchtime, it's sunny, dry. We're looking at a temperature of 80. And as the sunshine continues, we'll reach a high of 86 degrees. But what is it going to be like for Friday night football? We'll take a look at that forecast in just a few minutes.